Running a barber shop goes way beyond cutting hair, especially during a pandemic. There are government-imposed restrictions, ever-changing guidelines, and new rules. It's been a struggle just to stay open. And the state isn't helping, explained Kim Spiegelberg, franchise owner of the Barbers. We are operating on such a shoestring anyway. Recently, the Oregon Employment Department started warning businesses of rate changes for employers who pay into the state's unemployment fund. Could not come at a worse time. Kim, who owns 12 shops, will see her annual unemployment insurance tax rate double, jumping by nearly $80,000. Which we don't have right now. You know, unless we miraculously, you know, go back to full steam, it, 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 we're in the red and we're gonna remain in the red. So why the tax increase, especially now? Here's how it works. Employers pay into the state's unemployment insurance trust fund. When workers are laid off, they collect some of that money. If a business had a lot of layoffs, it results in a higher tax rate. And next year, nearly 150,000 Oregon businesses will see a jump in that rate because they let people go. The question is, does it make sense to penalize employers for COVID-related layoffs that were largely out of their control, like barbershops and restaurants? The state told them to shut down. When we shut down, we weren't shutting down machines. We were laying people off. And we had no choice. Many other states have stepped in to help protect businesses by not counting COVID-related layoffs in determining their tax rate. We've seen at least 26 states and D.C. have done something similar, and Oregon is in a good position to be able to do something like that. Catherine Lawhead of the nonpartisan think tank Tax Foundation explained, Oregon's unemployment trust fund is sitting on roughly $4.1 billion in reserves it can afford to cut people a break. The state could really help a lot of employers and a lot of employees get back to work by helping these businesses through this really unusual time and then going back to a, a more usual tax rate schedule when times become more usual and life gets back to normal again. Some businesses are seeing their unemployment taxes go up. David Gerstenfeld, director of Oregon Employment Department, said rate increases are needed to help replenish the trust fund so Oregon won't have to borrow from the federal government and face financial consequences like other states. He says the agency is being flexible during the pandemic. If somebody isn't able to pay the full tax immediately um, during the emergency period, that we're not going to be uh, assessing penalties and we can work with them. Every dollar counts, every penny counts. State Representative Janelle Bynum has a unique perspective as a business owner with four restaurants. In Oregon, it would take legislative action to prevent COVID-related tax hikes. So I think um, from the legislature's standpoint, the first thing that's most important is that each, leg each legislator understands that this is a real hit um, to small businesses. Well, businesses, period, but small businesses especially because you don't generally have a large cash cushion. Back at the Barbers, Kim argues the state needs to protect employers from facing high unemployment insurance tax rates at a time when business owners can least afford to pay. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.